guys, what's going on? End of January is already here and we're already going into February. So that means time for a brand new haul. With this haul, we are going into my January 2019 haul, my Blu-ray haul, some of the pops I picked up. Well, I actually picked up one. And this is my January haul. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and make sure to also check out Sandwich on Films also down below where you guys can get into advanced movie screenings. As I know, I kind of just flexed right there and be hitting the gym a little bit. Like I said, this is my Blu-ray haul, so let's get into it. Starting out how I do every single haul, I talk about the one thing that isn't a haul, and that's some Funko Pops. I did get this Funko Pop. I've been dying to get it for a while is Kakashi with his lightning blade. I love Naruto. I want more Naruto pops. Please Funko make some more. Moving into the first set of movies that I picked up. I got How to Train Your Dragon 1. Surprisingly, I owned the second one for a long time, but never got the first one. But the funny thing is I've actually seen the first one. I've never seen the second one. Don't ask how. I don't know how that works. But from what I remember, I actually really liked the first one. It was adorable. It was cute. Um, but it never really stuck with me, so I'm looking forward to actually re-watching them and seeing if the magical sweeps me away in anticipation for the third one. Uh, the next one we got is The Hangover. Um, I have all the other hangovers, and I had this on DVD, but this was like three bucks, and I have an issue where I'm like, why is this only DVD, and why do I not have the other ones on Blu-rays? But now I have them all on Blu-ray. Next one I have is one of my favorite films of last year, and that was mid-90s. I love this film. This is Jonah Hill's directorial debut. You guys should definitely check it out moving on to my next one is van helsing on 4k this is a huge guilty pleasure of mine i'm a big fan of this film growing up and i understand it is one of the worst films possibly ever made but i love the whole van helsing lore and i want another van helsing film not with Hugh jackman of course maybe something that is actually better but i'm a fan of van helsing for sure next thing we got here is three kings this is made by, by david o russell one of his first films you guys don't know who this guy is he's done american hustle he's done silver linings playbook but three kings is probably his most underrated film to date i love three kings i think it is a great action comedy with ice cubes george clooney mark Wahlberg. no one ever talks about this film it's on blu-ray okay. also got the only four batman films that i'm missing on blu-ray so now i officially have every single batman film on blu-ray and i'm actually looking forward to going back through this because i have not seen the michael keaton one in such a long time and i'm actually planning on doing a batman ranking later this year so I had to pick this up so i can do the ranking to the best justice that i can next film i have is halloween on 4k i was sent this from universal studios and sandwich on films and i was a big fan with this in the theaters still fun to watch it at home it doesn't hold up as much as the original one does but this is still a blast to watch i never expect slasher films to be scary of on kind but this one had some good thrills to it but a lot of good laughs and a lot of good fun to it and that's what i expect out of my slasher films moving into my next one i have first man another film that i was sent by sandwich on films and universal studios and it's a film that was slept on in its entirety i loved first man it looks gorgeous on 4k it is amazing it has one of the best scores of last year i have no idea how justin hurwitz did not get nominated for an oscar but i find this film to be completely underrated people are saying it's overrated but i'm looking at them like what are you talking about this film bombed at the box office it was mixed between people this film's great and i think damien chazelle is three for three personally with me Moving on to the next one, I have to give a shout out to Geeks Who Eat. They did hook it up with a couple movies for me, and I'm going to be showing you those. And the first one I have is Creep Show. Go check them out, guys. I'll link them down below. They're a great website. It's a great couple. They put together these awesome food platters and different types of meals and desserts and even drinks that coincide with certain movies coming out. And again, they hooked it up with Creep Show and a couple others that I'll be getting to. Never seen Creep Show. Actually, maybe I have. I don't really remember, but I like it, and I'm glad to see it's here. Um, another 4K I picked up this month is Saving Private Ryan, a 4K that I definitely had. It says $11.99 on the box, but I actually got this 4K for $5. Yeah. If you guys want to know how to get some like cheap movies, go to your used stores. That's where I get a majority of my films at. Uh, next one is Warm Bodies on 4K, a film that I've never seen. Have no idea how I ever missed this. And I got it on 4K, another one that I got for 5 bucks. Next one I have is a film that I was sent. Time Freaking actually found my review over on Sandwich on Film's website for this whole one. I liked it. Uh, not the best thing I've ever seen, but it has a pretty good cast. Uh, I'll leave it there. Next one we have is, one, is probably my favorite M. Night Shyamalan film, Signs. Love, love, love Signs. It's a great film if you've never seen it. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. And also, sticking with the M. Night Shyamalan in them, I got The Sixth Sense. Uh, a film that I've only seen once. I only saw it the once, and I liked it. 
Um, I knew the choice going in. I think that's what took away from this film. It's still a really good film, and it's still one of M. Night Shyamalan's best made films, but personally for me, it's lower on the ladder just for the fact that I wasn't blown away by the twist. And it sucks because I don't think I've ever seen a film where the twist blew me away. Um, so yeah. Uh, next one I have is Trick or Treat. Been looking forward to getting this one forever. Been wanting it forever. I wanted the slipcover one, but it was like 30 bucks. Uh, and this one was $7.99. So now I have a classic horror film to watch. Another film that Geese Who Eat hooked me up with, and that is Rebecca Alfred Hitchcock's award winning film. Surprisingly, he didn't win for Vertigo. I finally watched this for the first time and really enjoyed it. So if you've never seen Rebecca, check it out. And I have one of my other favorite films of the year last year, and that is The Hate You Give. This is one of the most underrated films. I am shocked that this film is not getting praised for Oscar consideration. I seriously think this is, has some of the best performances. I think it has the best supporting actor performance. It had a great script, and overall it was a film that I was not looking forward to. I went and saw it. I walked out, moved. It's a very powerful film. Go check out The Hate You Give. I'm shocked that that's not getting Oscar consideration. Another film I picked up this month, Mortal Kombat. A movie that I have not seen in decades. Well, maybe not decades, because I watched it like eight years ago. But, close to eight years. Um, I, I like this film. It's fine. Uh, nothing, nothing like huge to me, but it is. I love the soundtrack, and it was, again, like three bucks, so why not get Mortal Kombat? Another film was sent by Universal and Sandwich on Films is Night School. You can find my review over on Sandwich on Films for this film. Um, I like Night School. I, I don't get the crap that it was given. Uh, I mean, Stephanie Hash and Kevin Hart, what, what did you expect from the film? I, I mean, I didn't expect anything. Another Blu-ray that I got is a Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. This is another one that I upgraded from the DVD version. Now all I need is At World and Blu-ray. Let's hope play F. Find it soon. Um, I'm a really big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean series. I adore it. I love the mythology. I love the world building. And I'm, I'm all down to rewatch these films whenever. Another one I picked up was Three Billboards on 4K. Three bucks for this damn 4K. Three bucks. It's missing the slipcover. It's not that big of a deal to me. I have three billboards now. I really like this film. Next film I got is another 4K, and that is for Evil Dead 2. I am a big fan of the Evil Dead series. Personally, my favorite one is Army of Darkness. I have the steelbook for it. I'm still waiting for the 4K version of that. I'm assuming it's going to come soon. But I, again, I'm a big fan of the Evil Dead series. I grew up with this. This is like my favorite horror franchise of all time. If you've never indulged yourself in the watching this, it's just great satire. Some good horrific moments to it, but overall, it's just great. It has one of the best leading protagonists in any horror film, Ash Williams. And it's just a great, great universe. Thank you, Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell for providing me with this. Next one I got is another one that Geeksui hooked it up with, and that is the Beyond the Reanimator. Never seen it. I'll have to check it out. Thank you guys again for that. Next one I have though, Bad Times at the El Royale. Another underrated film from last year. People crapped on this film, but first time I saw it, I felt a little let down. Not much, but I still really enjoyed it. But I wanted to love it. Second time I watched it, I actually found myself loving this film. I found I think this film will kind of go down as how Cabin in the Woods was for me too. I expected something different. I saw it, I liked it, but I didn't love it. And then I saw it a couple years later, and now I watch Cabin in the Woods every single year. It's one of my favorite horror films, and again, I think that's kind of how Bad Times of the El Royale would be. Still think Cabin in the Woods is a better film. And of course, I have two last Blu-rays to show you guys, and I it bugs me that I don't have the whole set, but I do have Dragon Ball Super Season 4 and Dragon Ball Super part three part season three whatever you want to call it um i've been wanting all the dragon ball supers it's the one dragon ball season that i have not finished or even watched and i don't own and i actually don't even own all the original dragon ball because i was holding out for a while that they're going to do a blu-ray and I, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon but um i went and bought these the second i saw broly uh, i was at zia records the view store i always go to and they were way cheaper than they were on like amazon these are usually like 30 bucks and i got them each for like 19 bucks and it was a night it was a nice deal in that i'm a big dragon ball fan i love dragon ball super broly and i was nice to see those and hopefully i can get the rest of the series soon is that is my blu-ray haul for the month of january thank you guys again so much for watching this if you guys are new here hit that like and subscribe button check out sandwich on films and i hope to see you guys soon again so again can't wait more early movie reviews coming soon lots coming up in the next couple of weeks and do make sure to subscribe because you guys are not going to want to miss my reactions and reviews and early reviews in fact to all the movies at south by southwest thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you guys soon stay classy